Okay, who we got on Futures TV right now? What's going on? It's Kim from Hood Rich. I own a Hood Rich smoke shop and a Hood Rich clothing brand. Straight out of Greensboro, North Carolina. East side of Greensboro, North Carolina. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, you know, we, we used to interviewing like rappers and stuff like that. We don't really interview like entrepreneurs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For you to be a black entrepreneur, I, I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I respect oh, yeah, I appreciate it. it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, so how did you, you know what I'm saying? How did you get this though? Like, I started off about 50 t I started off with exactly 50 t shirts in 2016. He just said uh, Trapaholics on him at first. Yeah. I sold out of them probably like the second day that I got it. So I just started going with it. And I had to go downtown to, um, to register my business and I didn't want to use the name Trapper Hollis and that's why I came up with Hood Rich. Yeah. And I just started doing the t-shirts and I started doing outfits after that. It was summertime so I did some shorts, tank tops. You know, I just kept applying pressure with it. The streets was fucking with it so I just kept applying pressure. So in 2018, around May, that's when we opened up this shop. I do custom t-shirts too for events and funerals and stuff like that too. So. Oh, okay. And the business was going good. I got this location. I was just trying to figure out what's a way that I can continue to, instead of, just make sure my bills would be paid. You know what I'm saying? That's when I came up with the smoke shop. The yeah. smoke shop side. So that's how you see I got the smoke shop here and got the clothing line on the other side. Yeah, that's what's up. Just to make sure that money, you know what I'm saying, that money be coming in and I ain't got to worry about it. But it's yeah. been going good. We done had people like Jada Moore in the clothing line, Tusi from North Carolina, the rapper. Okay, shout uh, out Big Fendi from New York. We done got a couple of nice stamps, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's going pretty good. It's definitely going to give me a body. You know, that's the goal. Yeah. And you just mentioned that you said you you sold like fifty shirts. Yeah, um, I sold fifty shirts in two days. Yeah, like I mean, a lot of people can't do that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like what's the, what you think is like the secret to like getting people to buy products from you or buy like promotion. You know, Having something hard, you know what I'm saying? Having something that people can gravitate to. With that trapaholic, I just promoted it as that's anybody that you ain't have to be, you know, actually trapping. If you get up every day, no matter what you do, with nine to five, yeah. you get out here, you get into it, you handle the business. So a lot of people gravitated to it. It was something that they could, you know what I'm saying, that they rock with. Yeah. So just having nice apparel and just just really, really knowing a lot of people too, you know what I'm saying, really, you know what I'm saying, a lot of friends on Facebook and stuff like that, yeah. kind of being popular, being who I am. Once they seen I was doing something positive, you know what I'm saying, they gravitated to it. So, so was it like more so online promoting or was it hands on, like you in yeah, the streets Yeah, I was driving too? around hands on delivering t-shirts, you know what I'm saying. I just posted that first poster, you know, just what I'm doing, duh, 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 so people were just hitting me up. But I was definitely sending text messages, pulling up, yeah. you know what I'm saying, because I was doing, doing it myself. So they say, I'm going out tonight, I want a red and blue one for the night. I go home, make a red and blue one, pull back up with them, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. that's why I got a lot of respect for just pulling up on people and they really seeing it come. From the ground up, you know yeah. what I'm from, my, from out of my car to here, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Yeah, that shit. That's, that's dope though, because you know I feel like a lot of people gonna watch this and probably think that, you know what I'm saying, if they promote on IG, then that's all they need. But nah. really, it's really about the hard work though. Like, yeah, yeah, you gotta go door to door. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, use all your resources. Everybody that you know, you know what I'm saying, hit them up, text messages, however it is, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. However, resources I can get in contact with people and pull up on them and get them a clothing line. I, they won't have to wait for shipping or nothing. They see me in it. I have it in my car. What size you need? I mm -hmm. get it straight out the car. We doing it straight like this. Yeah. So I know you. Um. You, I mean, you got your own business, of course. Have you ever had a nine to five? Uh, yeah. When I was young, and I was about about sixteen, seventeen, I worked at Wendy's. Okay. So yeah, you that really... was my first job at Wendy's, but I really couldn't get jiggy with the nine to five. It really wasn't. Yeah. It really wasn't for me. Most definitely. What's some of the stuff that you, you know, what I'm saying that that you don't like about, you know, the, what the... Been, just being the business. Yeah. The what's hardest, some of the stuff you the don't like? Thing has been finding good help. You know, what I'm saying that has been my hardest thing. That, with this whole business thing. Everything else been kind of smooth because I'm so used to dealing with people and selling and selling stuff. So everything else been kind of been kind of great. But mm -hmm. finding good help has been my hardest obstacle is me getting some good night, some reliable help up in here. That yeah. has really been, that's been the only thing that's been an obstacle for me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. You want me to stop it? So no, you good. Good. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, you good. So, you know, with the Hillary's brain, uh, do you, are you just going to keep it strictly like um, a smoke shop and clothing line, or do you, you feel like you're going to, you know, be in like the movie business? Or? I'm trying to do whatever it is, whatever it's going to bring to my table, whatever opportunities it's going to bring to me, I'm definitely all, all with it. Um, 
I got a kid's line too I've been working on. I've been trying to do stuff for dogs, trying to get some, you know what I'm saying, clothing for the dogs. So whatever opportunity come my way, I don't care what it is. Yeah. I've been trying to, a lot of people be trying to get me to do music. A lot of people around me do music. They be trying to get me to invest in artists and stuff like this. So I've been thinking about it, but it got to be somebody that's talented and that's really going to represent my brand and represent it right. But yeah, I've been, I always think about other ways of branching out and bringing you know what I'm saying, bringing more revenue to the table. Yeah. For me to be here a year, what I did is I opened up, and I really didn't have, like what you see in here, I didn't have really a lot of this stuff in here. Did you have any I, help, like any people? Yeah, like, my anybody? family, I got okay. a great support system. Like, okay, My that's family, that's my cousin that I got in here, so. Oh, uh, okay, oh, yeah, so I, I got, you can. know, when it comes to family, friends, I got, yeah. I got a great support system, but they, that's who supported. They came in every day, even though it wasn't a lot of stuff in here. They came in every day, bought it. So I used that money and put it back in the shop. So that's yeah. how I was able to even get half the stuff I got. Okay. Just opening up already and getting the doors open, getting the people in here. So yeah. I get a lot of support from the whole city. You know what I'm saying? They really, really rock with me. They really fuck with the grind, though. Yeah, yeah. They say it come from, from day one. So they really, they really fuck with me. <clears throat> and I know you just mentioned that you, you know, when you was getting the money, you put it back in your brand. Talk about how important it is to invest in your brand, because I'm pretty sure 2016, you could have been spending that money in the strip club. You could have yeah, been buying Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Ain't but, no bad, I want to change, but I, I spent that money back in. I bought the top notch machines to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I go hit up contractors, hit up drink machines, make sure I got the top notch drinks in my shop. So it's very important to put that money back into yourself, because you're going to spend that money on some shoes, some food. Put it into well, somebody else's brand. That money you something or made you something better. So every dollar that I ever made, that's how I was able to get here, because I always reinvest that money back into myself. You know, I'll splurge a little bit, make sure I'm looking good, but I got to make sure that that business is still going right, everything, your paper trail right. So I always, you know what I'm saying, always reinvest into myself. I just bought a new machine for my clothing line. I'm about to get a watering machine next. So okay. I always try to recycle that money back into myself. That could be your best investment, no matter what you're doing, music, mm -hmm. whatever. Put that money back into yourself, grind and put that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to pay off. Most it's definitely, definitely going to pay off. Was there anybody that you was looking up to that gave, that gave you motivation to start your own? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, of course, Nipsey Hussle with him in the marathon. You know, watching Dapper Dan, watching the um, watching my man down in the exclusive game down in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So it's just you know a couple people in the, in the city that's doing they clothing line thing. Always you know what I'm saying look up to them. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a couple people that just just brands period black owned brands. That's done, just, you know, paving the way and just showing me that it is legit and I can get it done if I follow the right footsteps, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So Without even like, like selling that. drugs and all that stuff yeah, too. That's, yeah. that's some people think that's always the way you gotta do something negative or something like that, but where I print t shirts, I don't care that I print t shirts. You come right in here and see me pressing the t shirt, you know what I'm saying? That's bringing me more money than anything I could be doing. I got a, I got a whole shop. And it's safe. You yeah, safe too. Yeah, press safe. a t-shirt. So it definitely could be done for the kids out there that think you gotta be on the block or be anywhere. I'm standing in my own store instead of standing at mom and pop store. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It definitely could be done. You feel me? Most you gotta put that, have that motivation, put that grind in. You definitely give you. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now I know you just mentioned that you say you, you um people want you to sign different artists. Um, who do you like in NC on the, in the hip hop scene? NC, oh, like I definitely scene. ride with Tusi the long way. He came to the shop. He always wearing good rich. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a couple. It's a couple people that uh, I got Tune Savage in here. Okay. I, I rock with him from the city. My okay. own girl Nah, she rap. I got her post in here. So it's just a couple okay. people. I don't. If they come from. They come in and drop me some off flies, whatever. I help. Yeah. I'm about helping my people. So. You know what I'm saying? Them just a couple off the top that, yeah. that come through, rock with me, so I make sure I, I get them, you know what I'm saying, the same promotion and show them the same love that they show me. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so that's, that's dope, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really, it's like you're really into helping people out. Um, how do you deal with people that might know you before you started your brand and they want to get discounts on stuff or they don't want to pay? Because I deal with that a lot, you know what yeah. I'm saying, running my business. A lot of yeah. people, hey, do this, do that. Just and on the strength. Yeah. yeah. So you how do you how do you deal with that? I just gotta just cut them short. Just tell them to respect the hustle, man. You know what I'm saying? If you if you really respect me and you really wanna see me grow, you gotta spend that money. Everybody always hit me up like, 
everybody getting that hood rich from give me some hood rich. Like, they buying it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't giving out nothing, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, so like, even yeah, friends? Yeah, yeah, I mean, got... yeah, to, if they, they're a celebrity or something, I'm shooting them, I'm tearing they P.O. boss up, people yeah. like that. Yeah. People like my friends, of course, but a lot of people, they generally want to see me win. Okay. Spend $20 with me to see me win, bro. Mm -hmm. They don't have no problem doing that. For the people that kind of really don't, I just kind of, you know, put that talk game on them, try to, yeah. you know, finagle my way out there. I got, I'm good with the talk game, so I'll probably put that talk game on. As long as I still get something out of them, yeah. I don't really be tricky. But I don't mind giving my people, you know what I'm saying, at least a little discount. If you showing love with me, you in here every week, get something, I always look out for yeah. them, you know what I'm saying, that ain't no problem. Okay. Yeah, they do be a, a lot of people be, they be the ballers, that's what they, you know what I'm saying, they be mm -hmm. doing all that, they be the main people asking Flash for the discount. money. Yeah, got the chains. You know yeah. <laughs> Let me get a That's discount. just a part of the game. Yeah, they stay stay trying to hit you up for the discount. Yeah. So if people want to, you know, what I'm saying, come to the shop, man. Let people know, you know, where where it's located, and let people know your social media too. All right, we located in Greensboro, North Carolina, six eighteen North English Street. It's called Hood Rich Mo Shop. Um, we got an Instagram, Hood Rich Mo Shop on Instagram. On Instagram, we also got the clothing line, which is Hood Rich Clothing three three six. Um, my page on Instagram is Hood Rich I Am. Facebook is called Trapaholics. Uh, we got a website also, the online website is booming. You can go on there and get this shirt I got on now. Because we got outfits on there, flip flops. The website is www.hoodrichx.com. Again, it's www.hoodrichx.com. Okay, is there anything else you want to let people know about? You know, in 2020, any projects that you got coming out, anything? Oh, yeah, just be on the lookout. We got a whole new collection dropping for the summer, for the summer and the winter. We got a fashion show coming up, a whole new logo and stuff coming up. So just be on the lookout. Follow our Instagram, follow our website, just so you can be the first one to see all the new stuff we got coming. But 2020, you're going to see Hood Rich Air, where we got billboards coming this year. You're going to see your mailbox. You're going to see Hood Rich in your mailbox. Like our promotion about to be crazy. Even you seeing me on this right now, just let you know, Good Rich is on the way. So okay. we're gonna be seeing much of us 2020. Just go ahead and tap in now. So when it, when it be official, you can be the first one. And you can already say you got your original Good Rich before it before when it blows. You off. know that's what's next. Okay, that's what it is. And we signing out already. Now what's going on? It's Ken from Good Rich, and you rocking with Future TV. Check them out. <laughs>